Hi to Chaco. Why are there so few teams in these two and two cups these days? Because, you know, it's so difficult to win. And every time you lose, every time you lose, you blame your ally and you you flame your ally, right? And you you make sure he knows that the, the reason you lost is because of your team's fault. And then next week, he's not gonna play with you. He doesn't wanna play with you. That's why. So these teams, they all keep falling apart. And uh, sometimes we see new teams between different players. Uh, but you know, at some point you hit the limit. We do have a keeper here for Loliath. And we do have a blade master here for Sawin. Of course, for Sheik we have a death knight. And for Imperius an Archmage. That's great. Who's Maxen? What? Maxen? I don't know. This footman, he's he's uh, he's brave. Look at his eyes. He has blue eyes, even though he's from Team Red. You know, maybe he has the keeper of the growth in his eyes. That's why his eyes are blue. Archmage swims a water metal. He's going for this ogre warrior. Here comes the keeper, though. The keeper wants to entangle some units. Death Knight and the Fiends, I mean, they're, they're still in the uh, buildings. Archmage does get a circlet. Of course, a super nice item. But look at what we get here. There's a Blade Master. Whoa. And the Archmage just, uh, he's hiding. He's, you know, he's attacking the Keeper from the side. He gets entangled, but the Keeper gets around it. Nice around here by Imperius. Can the Blade Master save the, uh, oh yeah, but now the Blade Master around it doesn't matter. He has 75 mana. He can always wind walk out. Imperius is uh, still trying to kill this blade master. He lost three peasants, four peasants, five peasants. Blade master is not even surrounded, but can he kill the blade master? No. Nope. Well, five peasants killed. It's pretty nice. And is he going for the archmage now? This Sawin man, so greedy. Such an orc player. The keeper, I mean, he has mana for a bomber entangled. This grunt and the keeper, they might finish it. Well, the blade master is somewhere safe, somewhere where he doesn't die. The archmage, he does die. Nice 100 XP for the keeper. So, Chaco, hello, X, uh, IF, NTX, welcome back. Ready to work. Okay, what's Sheik doing? Sheik is creeping this creep camp. Okay, that's nice. Uh, Footman here. And then going for the blade master again. Can they get a blade master? Maybe if the death knight can get level three, but he's not even level two. He's level two now with the ring of regeneration. That's nice. His footman here taking a lot of damage. He dies. He's going for the turtle now. The blade master and the keeper killing a turtle. That's so beautiful. And they kill the turtle. And they get a cloak of shadows. Not the item they hope for, but it's definitely the item they deserve. Because they're so mean to Imperius. Are you kidding me? This Wisp, this Wisp is Michael back. And there's the Archmage, he's back of course. Level one Archmage goes back 36 seconds. And he's just right clicking these guns with the Footman with the Skeletons. The Death Knight over here uh, gets hit by the Blade Master sword and entangled the Skeletons here. Oh no, nice surround. Can he fight his way out? Does he TP out? Does he, he fight his way out for now? But there's another entangle, isn't there? No, there's not. But maybe they can still get the Death Knight. There's a dust. They see the Blade Master. Is there a noob tower? There's no noob tower. Are under the Blade Master going for the Footman. The footman is still alive. <laughs> there's, not, there's no healing there for the Death Knight, by the way. Okay, well, let's see. These fiends are going for the turtles. Oh, the uh, keeper tried to get the last hit in, but he was too late. Archmage did get XP. And uh, Blade Master just chilling over there. Death Knight regenerating so insanely fast. Look at his hit points. He doesn't need a heal item. Look at that. I can't even count that fast. This Unholy Aura plus, of course, the Blight effect. It's insane. And without the Blight effect, it's a lot slower, but still decent. Shadow Hunter creeping here with the Blade Master. Meanwhile, over here, we have a, a Keeper. Ring of Regen. Okay, yeah. Ring of Regen helps as well, of course. You know. Part of the equation. 
simple maths. You can skeletons. Gonna keep this, okay. This shadow hunter, you know, he's beautiful. Okay, they're going for this uh, ogre lord. Is anything? Uh, let's see what item they get. Claws of attack plus twelve. Could be great for a list later. Once he gets that orb, of course. Because ogre. Oh, the keeper finds them, saying hello. Does he have any huntresses at all? Yes, and he has a panda, and he has two huntresses. But he didn't build too many huntresses. He does go for uh, ancient of lore units. I assume drives, of course. Our blight and aura percentage based. Uh, I forgot. Maybe someone else knows. The Archmage tries to kill the last ogre. Play master here, killing some units. Oh, what does he get? Gloves of haste. By the way, standard uh, tier 2 here for Soin. Bestiary, Spirit Lodge, War Mill. We'll get a Kodo. Uh, Imperius is getting Arcane Sanctums. He's getting a Mount King. And here, of course, Sheik. Standard in that. No, he's going to do uh, tier 3. We will get that orb. It's going to be beautiful. There's the info potion. It's also beautiful. Me over here, we see a lot of players creeping. They're going to creep. So many creep camps on this map. Who gets a uh, scroll of the beast, though? That's what I'm wondering about. What did we get over there? The info potion. What did we get over here? Another info potion. Panda here got a re ring of regeneration as well. And oh, here we get the scroll of the beast. Interesting. Very interesting. Aura is not percentage base. Blight, I don't know. Oh wait, Aura is maybe. <laughs> it's Imperius feeding Sheik. The Death Knight here was buying a orb at the TP. I'm not sure, I don't know. Don't think so. This Death Knight here is defending himself with the orb. He's pretty strong, by the way. Also the Shadow Hunter, the Shadow Hunter has an info potion. The Acolytes have the Death Knight surrounded. He doesn't defend himself. He doesn't realize how strong he really is. Coils the, the Shadow Hunter again. Here comes the Red Army. Can they save the Death Knight somehow with his Acolytes? Yeah, Death Knight should be fine actually. Shadow Hunter did die, easy peasy. This Grunt here is so dead. Does he have a TP? No TP. He's losing so much here. Trying to get a Death Knight while his ally is getting this item over here. Lolite, of course. Uh, there goes another uh, handful of units here for Sawin. Raiders, Grunts, Spirit Walkers. We've seen this exact same thing just happen like a few games ago. Where Cash lost all his Grunts in a base of uh, Reprisal. I mean, there was a slightly different situation, but kind of exactly the same. The Spellbreaker here is taking a bit of damage here from these, uh, these Dryads. It is going to die, and he dies. Spellbreaker is not that great against Dryads. Um, he needs his ally. <laughs> I don't think Imperius can win this fight. Hello, ally. You need it. Okay, well, uh, Imperius loses like half his units for free, pretty much. Uh, there, he kills one Dryad at least. And uh, the Light, he has a TP. He knows how to TP out. Uh, Breath of Fire kills the last two sorceresses. And now it's even again, I guess. <laughs> how many dead human units? At least six only one dead dry it i'm not sure if that made it even or if team imperial still has had there's no uh observer board on this map let's look at the supplies real fast 34 47 so it makes 81 here we have 48 and 46 so that makes more it makes like 94 so it seems that our head, Team No Light is ahead again. They do have the Django. What a super item, Django. And we have an expansion going down here for Sawin. And Sawin going for the base race. He's going for the base race, but someone TP's in. 
And the Shadow Hunter is speed cool is out of there. Coil on the, on the radar, he's still alive. He tries to block or surround the radar, but he does get it. We were over here. Uh, Imperius. He does have a DP as well, but I mean, he's fighting this beautiful fight. Doesn't really fight it beautifully, though. Does TP out. Goal is going down. 70 critical strike. 74 exit. Uh, the first was 70 was of course the wind walk attack. The 74 was a critical strike level one. The great hall is going up. I guess Imperius doesn't realize he's not playing master rifleman, so he doesn't realize that uh, Dryads actually kill him, and he doesn't kill Dryads. Slippers of Agility gives it to the Blade Master. Gloves of Haste, two of them. Also to the Blade Master. And of course, there's Endurance Aura as well. And Command uh, War Drums. Drums. No Command Aura. The Lich now has the Claws of Attack plus 12. 17 damage. Look at this fight. There goes a Fairy Dragon Disco Ball. Spe uh, spe uh, spellbreaker goes down. Blade Master, what is he going for? The Skull of the Beast was used, by the way, twice. I guess. Did I have two of them? I feel like they, they just used another one. This fiend here is very low. Um, yeah, this army of uh, Sheik and Imperius doesn't look that uh, impressive. The panda was nuked, but he gets staffed down at the last moment. Imperius coming, uh, showing up with some footmen. Yes, he uh, he's 38 supply, but that doesn't stop Sheik from trying to kill all the units. Like this disco ball, it does go down. One fiend goes down as well. The Mount King, he's uh, pretty strong. The Blade Master got stormed, coiled, and he used the Info Potion. He's still alive. This Fiend, though, is he still alive? No, he's not. He's dead. This Grunt here is, is uh, a Panda's back, guys. He's level 4. He has Mana Potion, Healing Potion. He has, you know, plenty of mana to kill shit. There's a Breath of Fire. Archmage is low on hit points. The Death Knight is low on hit points. Do we see a GG here anytime soon? We do see a dead Archmage. The Panda is silenced, and there's a GG. There's a Death Knight. That's a Death Knight. For uh, Sheik. Early Death Knight. Late Fiends. There's a Graveyard. Hi, Chaco uh, Chat. Hello, Batfan16. Welcome back. Mass Footy Mass Ghoul Dreadlord. Mm, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Not this game. But maybe we see something fancy. Like a Demon Hunter and a Blade Master. Yes, that's what we see. So fancy here. By Team Sawin. So Acolyte does scout this Ancient of War. Where did the creeps go? There they are. This wisp lured the creeps away. Acolyte, uh, is he gonna buy the Berserker or the Force of Shadow Priest? Sheik buys the Force of Shadow Priest. An Acolyte and a Force of Shadow Priest. I mean, oh, there's a Demon Hunter Mana Burn. I mean, what was he expecting? <laughs> They're not to be a demon hunter. But here comes the Archmage. Here comes the Death Knight. Can he get the last hit? He gets mana burned again. He doesn't get the last hit. 145 uh, XP points. And a Skull of the Beast. Coil gets a Wisp. I think he got the XP. Yeah, he got the XP. There's mana burn on the Death Knight this time. So many mana burns. The Blade Master is here to defend. Uh, against this evil Archmage and Death Knight harassing. There's another mana burn on the Archmage, but his horse. His horse, man. He, he walks so fast on his horse. It's not fair. Why doesn't the Blade Master has, have a horse? He kills a little bunny, some skeletons. And the Archmage gets mana burn just as he wanted to cast another water elemental. And that got cancelled, of course. So you saw him do the animation and then stop doing the animation. What are metal fighting against the grunt? The Archmage is dying to a speed scroll, of course. What a beautiful speed scroll. And uh, the Death Knight, what is he doing? Be careful, he almost got surrounded by one grunt. What are metal is going down. Oh, I think the creeps killed it. Not sure. What is 56 minus 21? Yeah, I mean, he got the... He got XP from the Archmage as well, right? And then about the Skeleton or something? I think that's it. I mean, we're over here, the Death Knight. 
Going for wisps. There's a nice uh, skeleton here. Trying to get a wisp. Koyo gets one wisp. Meanwhile, over here, he did detonate. Uh, we see Imperius, he has his Archmage back. Kills a, kills a sheep. There's a Blade Master. Is he going for the Footman? He doesn't have boots. So I don't think he's going for the Footman. Oh, what does he find here? A gold mine. So, of course, he's going to hide for now. Use another Windwalk in a moment. Let's steal this XP and the item. Ha, ah, so sneaky. Sneaky Blade Master. 108 XP on the Blade Master at the moment. Meanwhile, we have this Death Knight running away from the Demon Hunter. Does he get it? He gets the XP, but not the item. Sobi Mask goes to the Archmage, and this peasant, he's dead. The Blade Master is level 2 now. This other peasant, Quen's coming in, by the way. They were waiting for the sign. The Blade Master made a sign, and the Quen's, they walked in on the creep camp. 86 critical strike there on the Archmage, but he's still alive. This Footman, though, is he gonna live nice and stare there on the Grunt? This Grunt is can, can only attack whatever next to him. And this Grunt is trying to f help him. So is the Blade Master. Everyone's helping him. Try to kill all the peasants. The Demon Hunter shows up. Mana on the Archmage. The Demon Hunter does have boots of speed. Because it's not a peasant. And uh, this Grunt, of course, survives easy peasy. He uses Heal himself on the Grunt. Here come the Archers and the Trolls as well. And uh, what does Imperius have? Of course, he has an Archmage. And three footmen. Demon Hunter finishes the creep camp. Meanwhile, over, she over here, Sheik has a Death Knight level 2. A few ghouls, the skeletons, no fiends this game. King Slaughterhouse. He's getting a Lich. And he finds the Ancient of War. Uh, and he's trying. He's going for it. He is going all in on this Ancient of War. Look at this, this Death Knight. Two ghouls, two skeletons. Well, one skeleton now. Killing an Ancient of War. The Force of Shadow Priest will help as well. Of course, the Archmage, he wants to be level 2 as well. He hates being the only hero that's level 1 in this game. He's an Archmage. He, he's supposed to be the, level, the highest level hero, not the lowest. The Blade Master finds a little footman. He's 84 critical strike. And he kills the footman. Archmage, you know, he has a nice 118 XP points. Blade Master will finish this creep camp. Or try to. Level 3 Blade Master now. Uh, nice hex. This Archmage, is he dead? We have Windwalk. Level 2 Windwalk, another one. Uh, he's probably dead unless he can TP out. And there's a TP. Is he going for the main? No. Okay. Me over here. Sheik killing wisps. Nice. There is a shredder. Demon Hunter Shredder Naga. Right click. Death Knight means a TP. Or he's going for the. Uh, he doesn't want to force TP yet. He wants to kill some ghouls. TPs anyway. Does he get a one wisp? No. Moonwall saves the wisp. The ghoul dies, of course. He's so dead. Stormbird on the grunt. Blade Master kills the Archmage now, finally. This grunt here is my code. My cut back. Maybe Wagon Mancer. Maybe. This uh, chicken. This chicken is going down. Let's see if we see a Wagon Mancer. We see uh, no wagons and no Mancers. So no Wagon Mancer. There's a coil on a ghoul. He's keeping this with two ghouls, two heroes, and a first tall shadow priest. Meanwhile, over here we have, of course, uh, Loliath keeping this creep camp. Easy peasy. Level 3 Demon Hunter now with Evasion. It gives Evasion to the Naga. Because uh, it doesn't stack with the Evasion he already has, of course. Death Knight. Is he gonna get level 3? Because the Blade Master and the Demon Hunter are level 3. Look at the hero levels. 3-3-1-1 three, three, one, one for Team Sawin. 2-1-1-1 one, one, one for Team... Uh, the other team, Imperius. The Raider here takes a bit of damage. Blade Master, you know, go for this uh, Footman. This ra there's a nice spirit link. This raider is dead. Yeah, that's a kill. Imperius kills a unit. This game. And the Archmage, you know, he has a healing potion. He has frost armor as well. This grunt here being slowed. This grunt here is, uh, I mean, he's killing more than one unit. This grunt is dead. He doesn't have mana for Stormbolt, even though it's the Sobi Mask. But remember, there's no Bronze Aura. This Archmage is still level 1 and useless. This uh, Tree of Life is going up. And this Tree of Life is going up. And this, you know, these Ancient of Lords are already up. He's getting Dryads. Here we see uh, Grunts, Raiders. 
Spirit Walker, Adept Upgrade. He's creeping over here. Just, you know, he wants a level 3 Shadow Hunter. And he gets a Puts of Quatalas on the Blade Master. That's nice. He's almost level 4, by the way. These heroes, you know, they're beautiful. They're mostly level 2 now for Team Imperius. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So 3-2-2-2-2 two, 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 two against 2-2-2-1. Two, 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 if that makes sense to anyone, that probably doesn't even make sense. But those are the hero levels. In other words, huge advantage here for Team Red, for Team uh, Loliath in hero levels. Also supply, I assume they're up as well. Uh, team Loliath has 87 supply, Team Imperius has 83 supply, so pretty close. And, well, let's see, we have this attack here by Team Imperius. What's gonna, how are they gonna defend it? Is Loliath trying to defend it by himself? I assume he has pillage. Let's look at Sawin. No pillage, what? Sawin! Best upgrade in the game, you forgot it. Sawin forgot pillage. Wow. Maybe Team Sawin is still going to lose this. Look at this right click on the tree. The tree is going down, that's for sure. What about this one? Peasants are repairing. Oh, is this the downfall of Team Loliath? Nice Nova here on some wisps, and he's killing the other wisps with the lich. Death Knight is finally level three. The shadow went down. Uh, the drives here. Can they get? Can they escape? I don't think so. They're trapped. One dies to the ogre mauler. This base is still not going down. Does he get pillage yet? Oh, he's getting pillage, guy. Look at this pillage. And this uh, town is just not going down. Does he have masonry or something? No, no masonry. It's just a normal town hall. Not a norm normal keep without masonry. The light here going for this base. But look at this. Uh, there's two trees of lives. Spread out over the map. And this base is finally down because there was no more gold or lumber. Look at this. Imperious. Nine gold and zero lumber left. And this militia not dying to the to the raiders. They match 100 damage critical strike on a peasant. That was a nice critical strike. The crit went down, but this, this base is defendant. Imperius finishes off the base. Sheik tries to finish off this base. Do they have any TPs at all? Shadow Hunter has a TP. Demon Hunter has a TP. Oh, I know what they're gonna do. The light is gonna kill Imperius again, just like last game. It worked last game, maybe it will work again. Or maybe Imperius is a new Imperius. Although his heroes are pretty weak. We have two level 3 heroes here for Loliad. Two level 2 heroes here for Imperius. Uh, the Berserker here takes a bit of damage. A lot of damage actually. It actually is it going to die. There come the Destroyers. They, the 12 Berserker did go down. And the Priest went down as well. Destroyers helping out this time. Sheik realizes, you know, if I let Imperius fight by himself, I'm going to lose this game. So I'm gonna help him, and that's what he's doing. We have uh, this Death Knight, he's running so fast. He has Sobe Mask as well, so these mana birds aren't even that big of a deal. Can he get this, the Naga Nova? No, 76 hit points. Where did he TP to? He TP to his allies base, of course. And meanwhile, we have the Shadow Hunter, Grunts, Raiders, finishing off this base. Getting so much money for the pillage. Uh, I wonder if Imperius, yeah, he is defeated, so that means Sheik now has to control Imperius units. He should have tried to sneak out the peasant, just to hide the building somewhere. Maybe hide the building into the in the base over here. Here comes a Blade Master. Level 4 Blade Master. Yo, 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 chuck on people. Yo, 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 enter. Welcome back. Blade Master going for this, uh, you know, this base. There are three towers. One the Rubian Tower and two Spirit Towers. The Acolytes repairing the main. Do we see a TPN for Sheik? Is he going to walk back home? Does he even have any TPs? I don't see any TPs on any hero. Not sure if the Death Knight, where there he is. No, no TP on any hero. We do have a TP here, of course, on the Shadow Hunter, and that's a nice TP. 
recoil on the wyvern. You know, over here. The demon hunter and the naga just creeping. Just, you know, they want some more higher hero levels. So, so smart. This tree of life was never scouted here by Sheik. This tree of life is being rebuilt. Team Sheik, they're gonna attack right now. Sheik is at uh, 49 supply. So we by himself is 63. Then Lolita at another 28. Shadow Hunter though in under attack. I mean at this point it's five heroes against uh, a few though. You know, five heroes against two. So so we it's not like he can fight the fight, even though he has more supply. So Hunter teams out to this space over here. The town is under siege. It's Hunter's Hall going down slowly. And what do we see here? Loliath is gonna creep this creep camp. This ogre magi is going down close of attack plus nine. This team hunter now plus fifteen damage. And here comes the army of Sheik. Does now scout this base. Will attack this base. You know this ghoul. He is dead. Of course he knows his base is here, right? He saw this TP. He saw him TP to this side of the map. His tree of life is going down. And the tree of life is dead. Some wisps here. A few detonates. A few... Probably one or two got killed. But at least three detonated. Oh, here is Sawin. Sawin. Guess Novat. What's this unit? Does he forget the unit? It's the Acolyte. Okay. The Kodo here. It's Kodo. If he lose the Kodo, fighting this is going to be even more difficult. He needs to wait for the next Kodo now. Or for his ally, Loliath. Loliath is going for the main. I mean, there's no more mining here for Sheik. There's one Acolyte over here. There's one Acolyte over there. Building a Necropolis. Oh, Seppers! She doesn't see the sappers. Beautiful sappers. What's this sapper gonna do? What is he gonna blow up? Let's see if he has decided yet. Sapper. I'll be a blast. <laughs> Goes for the two ziggurats. Okay, nice. We have an expansion going up here for Loliath. Uh, well, she is just trying to kill uh, units, whatever he can get. He's just trying <laughs> hunting down units. Are his heroes maybe good levels? No. No. No, these heroes are still very low level. Still very far behind in hero levels. We have like a bunch of level four heroes here for Team Sawin. A bunch of level two heroes still here for Sheik. Three level two heroes, one level three hero, and one level one hero. This base is slowly dying. I mean, he does have a Necropolis over here. Can he get some uh, unit kills? <laughs> I mean, Sawin is just. Buying time here by running circles around the map. I don't like this Kodo here. Why does he why does he have the Kodo here? Of course it's gonna be uh, picked off. Kodo doesn't run very fast. He's dead. We have an expansion there for Sawin, by the way. Okay, and the Raiders find this base. He's going to kill this base. Get even more money from the pillage. This, this base is also dead. This building is going to get destroyed in a moment. And this building is going to be destroyed. But what is this, guys? This game. This is another Necropolis. And look at this. Here comes. Here comes the army of Sheik. Can he crush this army easy peasy? No, he can't. Blade Master finds the Acolyte. And Sheik will GG out before he loses to the Necropolis. I can feel it. There it is. GG. Altar of Storms going up here for Serene. Very forward burrow. Interesting base placement, base building, bureau placement. It's all beautiful, but it's also interesting. Do we see any player going for the sand towers? Oh, I guess he was planning to, but he screwed up. Loliath made a mistake. Wow, he does go for the keeper. Yeah, he's going for the Bambi strategy. Triple Bambi. Here we get the Archmage. Oh, Archmage for Imperials. Okay, that makes sense. And we have a Death Knight for Sheik, of course. And the Blade Master, fast tech, no barracks. 
I wonder if Lulize is also gonna fast tag. No barracks. Chuckle, your emotes are OP. Are Please nerf emotes. Okay, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll nerf them. Oh, again, what is this? What's happening? He at least gets the. Uh, actually, this is normal. This is this is fine. Actually, that's this was supposed to happen. Uh, did you get the other one as well? Yeah. And of course, the keeper here is going to be uh, born in a moment. This he has the centaur over here. These centaurs they carry pretty big axes, by the way. Pretty big axe. If you get hit by an axe like that, ow, that hurts. Especially a horse that walks uh, so fast and then he, he hits you with that um, the movement. You know, he's now going for the footman. Like the force translates his, his movement speed into a bigger smash, bigger impact <laughs> of that axe. And he's, he's just, uh, oh, what's the water mental? No, he doesn't go for it. We have two of the centaurs now. Archmage is level one, he's uh, creeping this. There's a centaur over there as well, those are your friends. But one gets a stare, and the other centaur is defending his other friend now. The blade master over here. What's he going for? He's go also going to defend the centaur, but he's going to die. One centaur is dead. Wow. And where's the keeper? Anyone know where the keeper went? Oh, there he is. There's Entangle on the Archmage. Can he get the Archmage? Where's the centaur? He's over there. The blade master takes a lot of damage from the coil, of course. There was no dust, though. Blade Master, pretty low on hit points. But so is the Archmage, and we all know Orc players are greedy. And he kills the Archmage easy peasy. As expected. And the Death Knight, he has one more coil, but that's not enough to kill uh, a Blade Master. Not with level 1 coil, that is. Maybe if he could creep real fast here with the other units to level 3. But that's not gonna happen. And look at that TP on the Blade Master. And here comes the keeper. Ah. He picks up the item. <laughs> he has a cloak of shadows now, so even if he got surrounded there, this uh, centaur kills uh, kills acolyte. Easy peasy. Nice and tangled there on this peasant. Look at the centaur outmaneuvering all the footmen. This is extra movement speed, and it goes for another peasant. The archmage is back. And the centaur kills that peasant, of course, with this huge axe. Blade Master and the Keeper, they're the best buddies. Meanwhile, in Loliath land, nothing is happening. And in Soween land, triple bestiary. Loliath, of course, is feeding uh, Soween. Let's see those wyvern. What is she going to do uh, against it? Blade Master going for the farce here, but he gets coiled. I love it too. Oh no, nice around there, I guess, by Team uh, Imperius. On this centaur, he's dead. And no more Bambis on this map besides this one. Expansion is going up. Two more militia guys. Just waiting. Before they are allowed to drop their armor, Blacksmith going up. Second Barracks going up. Are they going mass Riflemen to defend against the Wyvern? Of course, Imperius is really good with uh, Riflemen. Archmage with the footman creeping over here. He kills one troll. The blade master picks up the item. The blade master, of course. What's he going for? He's going for the archmage. I mean, the blade master is kind of weak. He's pretty spaghetti at this point. He has a healing staff. Uses it. Keeper. Drinks some moon juice. I mean, fountain juice. Forces are under attack. Here come the wyvern. Oh, he already has two. Oh, here come the wyvern. Where are the riflemen? No, that's not the rifleman. That's not the rifleman. The town is under siege. Does he make the wrong unit? How come Imperius is making the wrong unit? There's the rifleman. He has one arcane tower, but uh, two scout towers. They're not gonna help that uh, arcane tower much. Archimedes is creeping. He's level three now, though. Level 3 Archmage, well the Blade Master just level 1. The Keeper just level 1. The Death Knight is level 2. Can they defend against the uh, Wyvern? That's all they need to do. Defend against the Wyvern and the heroes. Militia are great against heroes. 
the wyvern go for the the water elemental entangled water elemental you think uh you know it doesn't make sense like you're watering the entangle but we have an entangled raccoon as well and he's going down he goes down the driver man is trying to get the wyvern kill and he coils it killing the wyvern but there's another entangle on this rifle man he needs more rifle man do we get a web anytime soon or anything else here that can help the rifle man not yet don't even have a fiend by the way so web not that useful Staff died man he is beautiful he has the boost of speed there's uh two towers here that could be upgraded doesn't have the money for it now he's building more towers in his main This is gonna be out in a moment. Of course, Sawin is going to uh, Fortress for even stronger, more powerful Wyvern. He has six now. His ally, Lelayet, is not doing anything besides just feeding. Feeding Sawin. Sawin is now at 60 supply. What do they get over here? Mana Stone. Okay. What do we have over here? Some towers. Attack upgrade on the rifleman. He's getting some more rifleman. Needs another one. Oh, he's at 49 supply. Okay. I understand. Build two guard tower over here. We could use a spirit tower here because the wyvern. There they are. They kill one ghoul. They kill a second ghoul. Or maybe Imperius should build some human towers here. That's what we see when uh, WFZ and Yumiko play 2v2. Uh, Yumiko usually builds towers in WFZ space. There go a few units. Wyvern are beautiful. And spear towers. Okay. Well, they're creeping over here. Meanwhile, the Archmage, he's almost level 4. So at least this game, they have the hero level advantage. These heroes are still just level 2. Look at the hero levels. Team Suin, 2, 2, and 2. Team Sheik, 3, 3, and 1. But the Archmage is already uh, close to level 4. Supply wise is, let's see, 88 against 86. Pretty close. Here's an attack on the base of Loliath. Can I defend? There's four rifle only actually. It's not that many. He's getting two more. Six rifles is a bit more. Going for the counter attack. Easy cancel on slaughterhouses. Well, a sapper. It must have been a sapper. I didn't see it. But uh, that explosion just looked so much like an explosion I could, I'm used to seeing. And uh, it seems like she could TP then, but how how's gonna defend this with the orb? Oh, there is his ally. Two wyvern dead immediately. Of course, rifleman great against uh, these wyvern. Sure. Tangle ghoul, coil ghoul. Space is still up. They built ancient wars pretty much just for defense, it seems like. The light is not making units. So when is going for Torin. Triple? Are you gonna make a Torrent Totem, Peon? No. Only double. Double Torrent Totem. A wyvern Torrent. Of course, the Wyvern, they have poison. They kill all these units. This one as well. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, they're all, they're all dead. Of course, the Wyvern, they creep so fast that. Um, Maybe, you know, they're catching up in hero levels. They're three level three heroes. Now the Shadow Hunter level three, that's important. But with the Mana Stone as well, still. So, uh, you know. What item does he pick up? Evasion? No, Ring of Regeneration? Both? I don't know. One of those? Doesn't matter. They're not that uh, impactful. This guy is at minimal hit points. The Rifeman kills at level four Archmage now. Level 2 Brilliance Aura, that's insanely powerful. The Death Knight here attacking the Moonball. I'm not sure they should be attacking the Night Elf Space. Instead, uh, the Orc already has, of course, the improved Burrow Armor, Reinforced Defenses upgrade. So I guess I'll take it back. The Night Elf Base is better to attack. The Keeper there, and Tangle on the Footman. Someone else noticed the Torin Kappa. Uh, nice Stormbolt Surround. He couldn't get a... Why Why did he let him go? Let him go. I guess he's singing, let it, let it go. But he, actually, he was just pretending to let him go so he wouldn't TP out. 
But then he just kills him. Meanwhile, Wyvern killing all the peasants here. They should have probably just ran out to the expansion or something. And uh, maybe he should have been building more towers. Maybe he should be building more towers right now. Actually, Imperius is going to creep. Like, he needed... Why doesn't he build more towers here? When he was losing all these peasants, he had time to get towers up. Now he's not going to hold with two... Uh, I guess he was out of money. Maybe he used his money for something, though. Oh, wait. Where did the Wyvern go? Never mind. The Wyvern went home to defend. This Lich here... Dies. Nice teammate. Town is under siege. These, uh, these, these mods. So mean. You're so mean. This rifle man is taking a lot of damage. He is dead. Mount King is level 2. Death Knight is level 3. They do have Senti Wards now, by the way. That's a super item, of course. Hotar goes down, so no keeper uh, keeper won't be back for a while. Unless he buys them back from the tavern, Stormbolt. And the Blade Master kills one Rifleman. There's a TC with the stomp. It's four Rifleman. And uh, wives. Okay, I guess he was trying to tell him to focus the Wyverns or something. Or maybe he's complaining, I'm not sure. We have Rifleman, they're beautiful. There's another stomp, hits a lot of footmen. And uh, a few wyvern take, do go down. This wyvern is dead. TC, I mean, he has mana for. Oh, we have a tour now in the fight already. And uh, this looks like, you know, this looks like uh, Team Blue is gonna win this. They kill an Archmage. Mount King is next, of course. This boots of speed. He's dead. Well, let's look at the supplies. We have Sawina 78 supplies, Ally 25, so together they're at like 100. We have Sheik at 37, Imperius at 33, so together they're at like 70 supply. But at least they had three bases of income. Didn't get the tree. Sawina, you know, he's just killing shit. He can do whatever he wants. Tauron, Wyvern. He's the MVP of this game. Arthur's going down. Torrent, they don't have pillars. There goes the next tower. How are they gonna come back? Well, we have a Death Knight. We have a Lich. Coil Nova. Stormbolt, maybe. I'm not sure where the... Arc, uh, where the... Oh, we have, we have bad riders. Since there are no... I mean, that's, those are not bad riders, Chaco. Those are gargoyles. I know, I know. I was just testing you guys. These gargoyles, they can kill the wyvern pretty fast. Uh, the wyvern are 2-0, two, a 2-1 two, upgraded though. The gargoyles, 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, let this base go. The gargoyles, also good against the huntresses. Not so good against the blade master with the orb. He doesn't have an orb, okay. Not so good against the um, torrent, but the archmage, is he dead? He's dead. And uh, he dies. Comes to Death Knight, the Lich, the Gargoyles, Nova here. He's trying to get all the Wyvern. He gets two Wyverns. And uh, we'll see some bad riders soon, of course, to kill all the Gargs. This Gargoyle is trying to get a Kodo. The Kodo ate the Footman. Hello, expansion. Do they get this Wyvern? Without the Death Knight there, the Aura, I mean, without the Aura. Seems the cargs are not really fast enough. There's a bad rider, there's a bad rider. Bad riders are gonna be beautiful. There goes a the gargoyle. Of course, the burrow is also quite beautiful. Look at these bad riders. In the end, justify the means, guys. He coils one of the gargs, he's still alive. The others are all dead. Uh, so at least take care of the wyvern. Maybe that's what <laughs> he's surrounded. The Lich uh, doesn't have an orb. So he cannot fight his way through through the Blade Master. Even if he could, there's a torrent waiting. After the Blade Master, he takes his turn. GG. Imperius GG's out. GG. Everyone GG's out. And that was a beautiful game there. A beautiful game. Too bad that it was 3 0.